Today, we will embark on an exciting DNA sequencing plays a vital role in variabling us to unravel the mysteries of life at the molecular level different sequencing methods and explore their applications and Sanger sequencing, developed by Frederick Sanger, is a method that uses chain terminating dideoxynucleotides to halt DNA synthesis at specific locations. Separating and detecting fragments allows for studying individual genes and confirming mutations. In the two, next generation sequencing, NGS, revolutionizing DNA sequencing methods section, next generation sequencing, NGS, is introduced as a more advanced method compared to Sanger sequencing. Various techniques are utilized to process and analyze the data obtained through NGS, leading to groundbreaking applications in genomics. Illumina sequencing is a popular DNA sequencing method known for its high accuracy and efficiency. It uses fluorescently labeled terminators to identify nucleotides, enabling the sequencing of DNA strands. This technology has transformed genomics and has applications in various fields, such as personalized medicine and cancer research. PAC bio-sequencing uses single molecule real-time, SMRT, technology to provide long reads of DNA sequences. DNA polymerase is immobilized and real-time sequencing of individual molecules is done using characteristic light patterns. This enables studying structural variations, allele-specific expression, and complex genomic regions. Oxford nanopore sequencing is an advanced DNA sequencing method that uses protein nanopores to read DNA sequences. It detects changes in electrical current caused by nucleotide sequences, enabling long reads. This technique is widely used for metagenomics, infectious disease surveillance, and real-time DNA modification monitoring. Its portability and affordability make it popular in remote areas. In the targeted sequencing section, we'll explore methods that enable sequencing of specific regions of interest in the genome. These techniques offer advantages such as increased sequencing depth and cost-effectiveness compared to whole genome sequencing. There are various approaches to targeted sequencing, including amplicon sequencing, capture-based sequencing, and enrichment strategies. Amplicon sequencing involves PCR amplification of specific DNA regions followed by sequencing. Capture-based sequencing utilizes probes to selectively capture DNA fragments of interest. Enrichment strategies employ techniques like hybridization to enrich the DNA regions of interest. RNA sequencing, commonly known as RNA-Sec, allows the comprehensive analysis of the transcriptome by sequencing RNA molecules. This technique enables the measurement of gene expression, identification of novel transcripts, and detection of alternative splicing events. RNA-Sec involves converting RNA molecules into complementary DNA, cDNA, followed by library preparation and sequencing. It provides valuable insights into gene regulation, pathway analysis, and understanding disease mechanisms. Metagenomics involves the study of genetic material obtained directly from environmental samples, such as soil, water, or the human gut. This approach allows researchers to analyze the collective genomes of unculturable microorganisms in a given ecosystem. Metagenomic sequencing methods generate vast amounts of data that can be used to identify and characterize microbial communities, discover novel species and genes, and investigate microbial interactions. Metagenomics has significant applications in fields like environmental microbiology, microbial ecology, and understanding the human microbiome. Epigenetics refers to heritable changes in gene expression patterns that do not involve alterations in the DNA sequence itself. DNA sequencing techniques play a crucial role in studying epigenetic modifications, such as DNA methylation and histone modifications. Bisulfite sequencing is a widely used method to detect DNA methylation patterns, allowing the identification of methylated cytosines. Chromatin immunoprecipitation sequencing, CHIP-SEC, determines the genome-wide distribution of histone modifications or transcription factors. These techniques aid in understanding epigenetic regulation, development, and diseases such as cancer. Single-cell sequencing enables the investigation of individual cells, providing insights into cellular heterogeneity and dynamics. Various techniques, including single-cell RNA sequencing, SCNA-SEC, single-cell DNA sequencing, SCNA-SEC, and single-cell chromatin accessibility sequencing, SCADIC-SEC, facilitate the analysis of gene expression profiles, genomic variations, and chromatin accessibility at a single-cell resolution. Single-cell sequencing has revolutionized fields like developmental biology, stem cell research, immunology, and cancer biology. Variant calling involves the detection of genetic variations, such as single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, 
insertions, deletions, or structural variations, within the genome. Different bioinformatics pipelines, utilizing DNA sequencing data, are employed to perform variant calling accurately. Variants can be associated with diseases, drug response, or population studies. Variant calling plays a crucial role in precision medicine, genetic diversity analysis, and understanding the genetic basis of diseases. Comparative genomics involves studying the similarities and differences in the genomes of different species to gain insights into evolutionary processes and functional elements. DNA sequencing methods facilitate comparative genomics by providing vast amounts of data for genome assembly, annotation, and comparative analysis. Comparative genomics helps understand genome evolution, identify conserved genomic regions, detect evolutionary constraints, and investigate the genetic basis of phenotypic variations. Evolutionized molecular biology, allowing us to exome in great detail. Techniques, such as SNA, PAC-Bio, and Oxford Nanopore, these methods have significantly enhanced our knowledge of genetics and